Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and I welcome you again. You can call me Chris if you like. So today we're going to be using Parma Inspiration, which used to be made by uh, Katie's Bubbles. I'm not sure that it still is. This smells like um, Aqua de Parma Colonia. Uh, again, Katie's Bubbles used to make this. Um, there is Parma Inst uh, Inspiration, excuse me, still available at Razor Blades and more, but I'm not sure that Katie's makes it. Um, what is the final run is at Razor Blades and more. So if you like the scent of uh, Sterling Piacenza or Aqua de Parma Colonia, uh, you might enjoy this. Again, I don't know that you can get the Katie's Bubbles version, but Razor Blades and more still has a 2019 version um, as of the shooting of this video, and it said it's the last run. So grab that uh, if you want to. Today we're going to be using the uh, Double Duck Satin Edge Razor, which you see right here, which is a vintage uh, straight razor. This is straight shave number seven. And by the way, if you know when uh, these Double Duck Satin Edge razors were made, let me know in the comments below, because I have no idea how old this razor is. It is a vintage razor. I want to remind you, before we get too far along, about the Scented Soldier Shaves giveaway, which will close on Friday night at uh, 12 a.m. or Saturday morning, let's say. Um, there is a video that he has. I'm going to link it below. It's called 10 Great Fragrances Under $35. If you want to enter for the giveaway, comment on his video. I am CDB, and you'll be entered to win one of the, a full bottle of the frag, and also I threw in a, a Yaki Barber Pole Brush and a Pascal Square Root, root <laughs> Razor. I'm already tongue twisted. That's not a good sign, is it? Anyway, let's get going with our pre-shave here. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm doing pretty well, no complaints. Things have been, you know, pretty good. Uh, as good as they can be, given the situation with the, you know, with the Rona. Um, in the United States now, probably close to 60,000 people have uh, passed away, sadly, and that's bigger than some sports stadium. So if you imagine all those people in a large sports stadium, that's how many people have passed away. So, you know, that's, that's pretty sad. I don't mean to to start out with a bummer thing, but just please continue to take it seriously and follow the protocols that have been set out um, until we're you know, in the clear, because we don't want to risk anyone else's lives. And uh, honestly, I have been doing exactly what I was told. I've been using the same tank of gas since this thing started. So I have not been uh, very many places. So I have taken it seriously because I have some family members that have immune, you know, um, compromised immune systems. And so I'm taking it seriously. So I hope you do as well. Okay, enough of that. The brush today is a brush that was uh, sent to me by AP Shave Code. This is their 2BED, two bad. It's like, um, it looks like a two-band badger. If I didn't have the lather in already, already you'd be able to see it. But it's 2BED, and the two uh, means it's two-band, and the ED is extra dense. And so this is the signature series, and it's got the, like the gold-filled uh, handle there, which is pretty cool. And let's get to lathering up and not yapping so much because we're already four minutes in. Diamond Dave can do a straight razor shave in the amount of time I'm doing my opening. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> That's a testament to how good he is and how much I'm blabbing. <laughs> I hope, again, I, I, I hope everyone is doing well and I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, this soap whew, smells terrific. Glenn the Sea Monster, GSN, Glenn... I call him GSM, Glenn C. Monster. Glenn Helly would like this one. Um, he doesn't like Creed Aventus, which is kind of offensive to me. No, it's not. But anyway, um, he doesn't like a lot of clone scents, but he does like this one. So Glenn, uh, go to Razor Blades and more and pick you up some Parma Inspiration if you want to. Again, it smells like uh, Aqua de Parma Colonia or Sterling. Piacenza. We're going to wipe some of this lather off just a little bit about right there. That should be good. And the stallion this morning was giving me some additional stretching tips. And by the way, I'm going to record the first 30 straight razor shaves. 
and then I'll start doing some off camera so I can have time to just really focus and concentrate. But I wanted to record the first ones just to, you know, sort of have it to look back on. Okay, let's see if we can see here what we're doing. And we can't see very well. The edge was uh, supposed to be shave ready and it feels okay, at least so far. This feels okay to me. All right, let's rinse that off. Again, I have no idea how old this uh, this razor is actually. I'm gonna try to use a cloth here and stretch it a little bit. Just trying to use the heel of that razor a little bit. And I'm not doing a magnificent job at it. Let's go ahead and grab this again. Try to pull over here a little bit. Okay, let's go to this side and get some alum on my fingers because they are a little bit slippery already, which is crazy. There we go. Let's rinse this off again. I want a caveat as I've been doing every single shave that I am a novice. This is my seventh. And so this is a learning uh, video. I'm learning, I'm showing you, you know, my learning. So don't uh, take it as if I am. Seasoned. because I am most certainly not. So I wanna make that clear and I wanna wipe that off the... I am a novice and I keep caveat in that, caveating that because I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. I was just trying to get a little closer there by putting one finger forward, which someone recommended, and you can see a little bit over that. A little bit better, I should say. So sometimes that might be helpful. I don't know. Again, we'll, you know, sort of develop things as we go. So one of the things I'm gonna do is, again, setting that razor down on a towel in a place where I know where it is, moving everything else out of the way. We don't wanna be knocking that off. So the first pass was fine. So where the stallion gave me tips, for those of you who are here to learn with me, and when I say learn with me, I mean, if you already know, you can help me learn. And if you don't know, you can watch and see the mistakes I made or perhaps the things I'm doing right. Because as I've been mentioning in these videos, we have some of the best straight razors in the world watching and giving tips, you know, in the comments below. So you can take advantage to that, regardless of when you see this. Maybe you're seeing this a year from now and I'm far better, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it can, it can be a learning experience for everyone. And so that's the way we're treating it. And I really appreciate all the tips I've been getting from wonderful straight razors and experienced folks. It truly means a lot. And I am grateful. I'm not one of those people who can't take suggestions and things that improve. Now, I will say, when it comes to DE shaving, you know, I'm sort of, I have certain things that work very well for me, and that's time tested. And so, if you tell me, for example, my lather is crap, and I'm DE shaving, and I'm getting a great shave every single time, I'm probably going to go, come on, how did the shave come out? But if, if it's something like this where I could use a little help, you know, I'm actually always uh, open to suggestion, suggestion, sorry, 
I'm uh, especially tongue twisted today. And I think that's partially because I try to focus a little bit more. And I'm trying to make this lab a little bit wetter, a little less fluffy. Because quite frankly, that's what's needed for straight razor shaving. And as I've mentioned so many times before, that's what's important. Um, slickness and that moisture. Anyhow, one of, the, one of the things I want to do before I get too far along is mention a uh, channel because I haven't been doing that. I want to direct your attention to Shave326. I will link his channel below. But first, I want to show you what he looks like because as you can see, he looks like Vladimir Klitschko. So we call him Klitschko. He looks like a younger version, if you, <laughs> I think, if you look at those two pictures. And I think GSM, I think Glenn the Sea Monster actually came up with that. So uh, blame Glenn, uh, shave 326. <laughs> okay, so let's start here. And one of the things David Gonzalez shows so, I can't speak, so sharp David mentioned yesterday was, if you're having trouble get a grip, just use your cloth, and I have been, so we're going to, Use our cloth. Okay. And one of the things the stallion suggested Suggested, I can't say suggestive today. I can't say anything today. I'm especially tongue twisted. One of the things the stallion suggested was, once you clear that bottom area, move the stretch closer up. Don't keep stretching down here. So we shall do that. And that sounds like a, a, a nice idea. And as you can see there, when I went up like that, my skin isn't bunching up like that, like it was. So stallion, you're right on. Move the stretch up. Uh-oh. Sorry, something happened there with my camera. I don't know what was going on there. I got some kind of weird dialogue message, so I hope it didn't cut off on me. I'm just gonna finish up this top part here, right next to the ears. There we go, okay. So, we're good to go there. Let's wipe some of this off to make sure we don't get lather too far up, and we will continue on over here. One of the things I need to do, because that lather is drying out, just adding a little more moisture. I don't need a lot of fluffy lather there, just something slick. That's all that is required, as far as I'm concerned anyway. All right, let's move up a little bit. I'm just going to try to tighten this up just a little bit. If I can get the razor oriented properly here. I got it in the way. Okay, and that, I believe, is where we shall stop today because I don't want to tempt fate, quite frankly. So we've done okay. Did I get myself a little bit there? I don't know. I can't tell.
Might be a weeper there, but no big deal. I'm gonna quickly clean this up uh, with my leaf and we'll be right back, stay tuned. All right, and here we are back with our Lancaster Razor Works towel. And by the way, these go on sale this Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So be there or be nowhere if you wanna get one that is. Really nice towel. Great for just wicking away the moisture on your face. I absolutely love it. On sale this Saturday. I'll show you the image right there in case you want to make a note really quick. And again, um, I'm not trying to sell it to you. I just like it. And so I share things uh, that I really like. And I hope if you get it, you'll enjoy it too. Let's throw on some Humphreys real quick. One of the things I've noticed about straight razor shaving is that I'm getting much closer on my neck than I do with DEs. And I can feel it, you know, so I'm not used to it yet. So it's going to take my, the skin on my neck a little time to, to get used to it. But we did okay. Um, again, it's not a clinic and, <laughs> you know, technique. I'm still tentative, but uh, the stretching tips helped. I couldn't tell whether I got myself there or not, like a little weeper. Um, but it looks okay. So we're going to call that uh, a nice shave. Uh, let's show what we used. Again, the I didn't talk much about the brush this shave, but we'll talk about it more in the future. This is the AP Shave Code 2-Bed Synthetic, and the 2 stands for 2B. The 2 is 2, two for 2-band, and then the ED is for extra dense. It's kind of, I'm sorry, I'm extremely tongue-twisted today. Anyway, uh, it felt really good. Uh, so we'll use that with the DE, and we'll have more time to, to talk about it. Usually those are well under 30 bucks, I would say. I didn't see one exactly like that on his website, uh, but it felt good for the first run. We'll get into it in more detail. Katie's Bubbles, Parma Inspiration, terrific. Again, um, Razor Blades and More, Razor Blades and More has a version of this, but I don't know if Katie's Bubbles still makes it, so uh, you can check that out if you want to. We use the Double Duck uh, Satin Edge, Vintage razor, and again, if you know the age of this razor or when abouts or what period they were made, you know, please let me know. And we're gonna finish up today with Sterling Piacenza. Piacenza, and a little story there. Rod at Sterling had never tried Aqua de Parma or anything like it. So I told him, you know, you should make um, an Aqua de Parma like soap and aftershave because it's awesome. So I sent him some samples and he, he made it. So if you enjoy this, thank Rod at Sterling and then remember yours <laughs> truly because I love it and I think Rod did a great job on it. it. Smells fantastic. Really, really nice. The aftershave is is incredible and the soap is too. You know how I feel about Sterling. It's the precious. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody for joining. Please don't forget to go to the scented soldier shaves video below don't forget to check out th shave 326 and don't forget just to be kind i want to thank you for joining until next time i've been your host cdb and i'm reminding you it's your shave do it your way and god bless